Susie Homesteader of the Rockies and welcome to the Susie Homesteader channel and it's St. Patrick's Day and today we're going to talk about designing your tablescape and incorporating some arts and crafts and some of your kids artwork into your dining room. So here's a couple of fun examples that I like to use at the dinner table and this one is called Make a Plate and this has been around forever and uh, all you do is transfer some uh, drawings that you draw on some paper onto a plate and when you send it in to back to the company with the papers they will send you back this plate with all your artwork on it and it's permanent and it can go in the dishwasher so you can't beat that that's one of my favorites and you can use those for just about every holiday all kinds of different designs you can do and I like to uh, use these for um, any holiday and these are all some fun examples for St. Patrick's Day and here's another fun one um, to use to help the kids use some stamps just get some stamps and uh, you know put it on some brown paper and stick it into a potato for your name cards or your name card holders and here's another one I like to use a napkin ring holder um, which you can put, or it's a name card holder, you can put anything you want into the top of that. Um, I just use a little paper shamrock and then put your napkin inside of that and that you can interchange with the holidays too. So I love those napkin rings because you can use that for any holiday you want. And here's another easy one the kids can help you with which is just a coin coaster. So just, you can buy these little coin square, uh, cork squares pre-cut like that. And then all you have to do is glue some coins on there, little plastic coins, and you have a coin coaster. And just some other little easy ideas for St. Patrick's Day. Just get some burlap bag, little burlap bags. I'm pretty sure we got these at the craft store as well. And use those for your utensil holders. And, you know, I love burlap on St. Patrick's Day because it just seems to kind of go with the holiday real well. So the next time you are at a coffee bean place or a place that sells coffee, um, ask them if they have any old coffee bean bags that they want to give away or even just sell you for a couple of bucks. And then take those home and then cut them into the size that you want and maybe stain them in some coffee um, or some tea just to give it a little bit more of a rustic look and then make sure you get your hot glue gun and glue all the way around the bottom edges of your placemat so that it doesn't unravel and you have your own homemade burlap placemats which I use for lots of things and they're hard to find so that's a fun fun craft to do as well and of course you've always got to have a centerpiece for your table and I like my centerpieces um, no higher than this, only because if it was way up high, you would not be able to see the person across from you. Uh, but this is nothing more than a little wood box that I built. And I had an old birch tree that died. So I took all the paper off of that birch tree and glued it onto the box and also tacked it with some upholstery tacks. Um, so that's a real easy way to make your own uh, birch box or anything that you want to um, coat with a layer of bark and then I just ran down to Joann's got some little moss balls uh, little moss birdhouse and little burlap bird and created kind of like a little moss box um, that I thought went real well with St. Patrick's Day and then here's another little fun idea I took some little St. Patrick's Day cards um, I think I ordered these on the internet, off the internet, but just some cards, little stock paper cards, um, real cute designs. Um, glued them together onto a popsicle stick and used them in my centerpiece. And I can reuse those on all kinds of fun projects. 
And last but not least, I have a, a pot, a planter pot that I just turned upside down, spray painted, put a belt on, stuck a candle in it, and I now have a couple of candle holders as well. So there's all kinds of fun things you can do with your table. And I'm going to go to the other side real quick and show you some more crafts that you can put into your uh, dining room or your kitchen table. And also, do not forget, besides your tablecloth and your other linens, maybe grab a few scarfs, um, whether it's a material or, or it was a fabric or an actual scarf material um, that you could just tie to the back of your chairs, either like a tie or like a bow, like a sash. Um, so lots of fun ways to use uh, different fabrics for chair accents. And you can do almost that same idea with a another kind of a scarf, which I like to do a lot of, um, and just tie that scarf um, or silk scarf or whatever you have to your lamp. And that's another way to kind of add some more um, decor to your St. Patrick's Day crafts. Um, and of course, you know, there's always just a good old cauldron full of gold, little gold coins. Um, here is a a uh, fun craft that the kids can help you with, and that is just a bunch of split peas that are glued onto a blank frame, and then just some little silver dollars that we turned into a uh, four-leaf clover. Do something fun like a, uh, a candle that's buried in a whole bunch of split peas. Um, and then, now this is actually a cake banner, which I love making cake banners for every holiday because when they're not in a cake, you can use them somewhere else. So here's a good example of just using your cake banner until your cake is ready. Um, and that's just a bunch of buttons glued onto a little horseshoe. And uh, you know, this was just like a little bird house that we spray painted and turned into our leprechaun house. And of course we have a leprechaun that's caught in the cage. So lots of fun stuff for your kids to do. Don't forget your Irish movies. My favorite, John Wayne, The Quiet Man. You have to watch that for St. Patrick's Day. And my other favorite, Far and Away. Um, all about the Irish immigrants. So don't forget your fun movies for St. Patrick's Day. And one more little craft you might want to stick out on the front door. And that'll just be a wreath. So just go get some burlap ribbon and some little felt cutouts. And wrap that around your styrofoam wreath. Add some more burlap and uh, glue on some more little doodads and you have a St. Patrick's Day wreath. So lots of fun crafts for St. Patrick's Day. And if you have any other questions or you need anything, come see me at Susie Homesteader of the Rockies uh, website and my YouTube channel. And make sure you hit subscribe and we will see you again. Bye bye. started subscribe to the Susie Homesteader channel and we'll see you there bye bye